Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stu's Reviews. So today we're going to take a look at this, the Tribit Max Boom. We're going to take a look at the sound and test the waterproof capabilities of it. So let's take a look at the specs. The Tribit Max Boom is designed as a rugged all-round speaker that you can take with you wherever you go. It's not particularly big, being just 7cm in diameter and around 18cm tall. On the front of its small design are three massive buttons that admittedly do look a bit childlike, but you'll be thankful they're so big when you've had a few too many ciders in the sun. For its small size, it can certainly punch out some big sound. It's designed to throw the sound out over a 360 degree pattern, giving listeners an immersive experience from every angle. And it also includes Tribit's X-Bass technology to give the bass a deeper punch. And when one isn't enough, you can pair two together to create a stereo output. It'll play music for around 20 hours, but the most surprising feature is that this speaker is supposedly waterproof with an IPX7 rating, meaning it can withstand being submerged in water up to one meters deep for a total of 30 minutes. The first thing we should look at is the sound. Now I've already taken a look at the sound in my unboxing, a few weeks ago, so some of you may have seen that. And if you have seen that, head to this time code for the rest of the review. But for those of you that haven't seen that unboxing, what I'll do is I'll play that now, and it's me opening the box and taking a first-hand listen at the speaker directly from the package to give you my first impressions. So here it is. Max Boom! Max Boom! Very good. Okay, let's give this a go. I have tried a try bit uh, speaker before, and it was very, very good. This one is also very similar to another style. I don't know if ever, any of you have seen the UE Boom, but it looks very, very, very similar indeed. Hmm. Feels nice. I even think that this is right and saying waterproof. Yep, it's waterproof. So you can in fact throw this in. Your swimming pool? Let's have a listen. Head up straight away. All good so far. That was quick and... Ooh, that's nice as well. Yeah. If you can see on the top, it's like shaking. That's good, that sounds really nice. Wow. Well, today is a good day for speakers because that is bloody good as well. Very good. Well, I must say, Tribit, very good speaker indeed. I'm not so keen on the appearance. I do think it's a little bit of a copycat of the UE Booms. But I actually think this sounds a bit better. Mmm, very nice. Very good. I might even come back to that one at some point. Ah, that's nice. Just putting it away and it says, there's a little card that says, leave us a review on any channel and we'll return the favor by donating $1 to the United States Fund for UNICEF Charity. Overall, a very impressive speaker. Now, there's a good reason I am at the beach. <laughs> that's because Tribit got in touch after my unboxing. Now this audio is coming from this, and there's a good reason it's coming from this at the moment. Now they got in touch with me and they said, Stu, great unboxing, thanks for giving your opinion on our sound. We would like to sponsor a video and send you to the beach to test how waterproof this actually is. Who could refuse? 
So with that in mind, I'm going to go for a little bit of a snorkel and see if this does actually perform well in the water. Let's get started. See, it's working absolutely perfectly. It does stop when I go underwater though, because I don't think Bluetooth works very well underwater. That's what I'm about to show you. Hold on. Overall, super impressive. Does it float? Oh, apparently it does. Very good. Well, all good here. <sighs> now that I'm back from relaxing on the beach, I want to prove to you that this still actually works. So I have it here. It's been snorkeling with me and I've been using it all week and it still plays music. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Such a good sound, and the fact that it survived snorkeling is unbelievable. But, there is a but. Let's talk about how much this costs, because Obviously, something like this should be a lot of money, but it's not. At the moment, it's about 60 to 70 quid, which is mental. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves, but I think that is ridiculous value for money. It is such a good sounding speaker and it's fully waterproof. It's a no-brainer, really. Now, overall, my conclusion of this is that it is a fantastic speaker, and it's one of my favorite speakers I've tried ever. It's definitely one of my favorite gadgets of 2019 so far as well. It genuinely is fantastic. Now, yes, okay, there's a couple of little things that I haven't spoken about necessarily yet. There's a couple of things that I think could do with a bit of change. This X bass button on the bottom, when that's on, it sounds phenomenal. When it's off, yeah, it sounds okay, but with it on, it's incredible. So why give the option? I don't know why you've given the option. To be honest, take that off and just leave the X bass on all of the time, because I've not taken it off yet, and I don't regret not taking it off. And my only other little criticism is that this port on the bottom, it is waterproof, but that means that it's really hard to get this out. And I've got no nails and cannot get this bung out to access the charging port. No. No. I need a knife to get into it. But that's the only two things that I can fault about this speaker. It's fantastic sound, it's waterproof, and it costs next to nothing when you consider how good it actually is. So should you buy this if you need a speaker? Yes. Yes, you should. And I guess that concludes today's review. Before we go, a massive thanks to all my current patrons. You guys are amazing. Uh, if you liked today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you back for another episode of Studio Reviews soon. Before you go, consider supporting me on my Patreon page by clicking here. It'll give you some great discounts on stuff I've reviewed and helps me to continue doing reviews. If you want to see some fun stuff, click here to see the highlights of Studio Reviews. And as a friendly reminder, click this button to subscribe.